What up fam, back with the quickest of the quickness to bring you another app to save you money in the Republic of Korea. You're watching Sekidil and this is an intro to OPNet. Now before we continue, we just like to remind you that this channel is meant for general education purposes only and isn't meant to replace the legal or financial advice from a paid professional. When it comes to investments, it's always healthy to take everything with a fair bit of skepticism regardless of the source and that includes us. So for that reason, nothing we say here should be taken as a basis for investment and you'll have to do your own work and thinking before deciding whether or not taking up a position in any stock mentioned here is in your best interest. Now as it concerns this particular app, we don't have any financial stake in it so we don't need to worry about that type of thing. Still, we would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel and we'll do our best to keep you up to date on things like this. In any case, let's get to it. Now with a new gasoline tax cut in effect as of November 12th, we've seen the average gas price drop down a good around the 101, maybe a bit more, but not all gas stations have yet adjusted. Now if you own a car, motorcycle, or any vehicle that requires you to gas up consistently, OpenNet is an important app to know about just to make sure that you're getting the most out of your dollar at the pump. Hosted by the KNOC, which is the nation's publicly owned petroleum company, both the OpenIt website and the phone app provide average prices of gas in every region, as well as listings of the cheapest gas stations directly near you. Now I know that most navigation and map apps also have this feature, but for me, having the ability to just pull up stats whenever I need it really quick without having to go through any options is some next level convenience that I love to have. Anyways, let's pull up the app and get to work, shall we? Alright, so when you open up the app, you'll see this home screen, which includes options for things like nearby gas stations, a map view of gas stations locally and nationally, your favorited gas stations, uh, current oil price trends, and expressway gas stations. Oh, there's also a navigation that takes you from your location to whichever gas station you want to go to. Now hitting the option in the top center, we can hit up a map view of whatever location we're at. For the sake of time, let's choose the options at the top of the list, Seoul to Byeolshi, and Gangnam Gu. Now you also have the option of punching in any particular brand of gas station like Hyundai Oil Bank, SK Energy, owned by the former by the way, uh, S Oil, GS Caltex, or any other gas station company that you prefer, but for our purposes we're just gonna skip over that. Now if you do choose to forego that, it'll bring up the cheapest gas stations in your area sorted by price. The drop down menu on the left allows you to sort by oil type, whether standard gas, LPG, or diesel. Next, all you have to do is click through to whichever station you want to go to and bong bong map view. If you can't discern how to get there, you can instead click on the blue sangse button on the right, followed by the squiggly arrow labeled chazakagi. Then you just have to choose whatever navigation system you prefer. The other two options allow you to save the gas station as a favorite by clicking on the star button or call the gas station with, well you can just figure that out on your own. Now mess around with this enough and I'm sure you'll figure it out, it's pretty user friendly and intuitive. Just to show you the other option that I use the most, you can click on the highway tab followed by the highway of your choice to sort through the gas stations along your route. On top of all this, you have the option to go over average prices over the past week, month, quarter or year as well as the average prices and top 5 cheapest gas stations in a given city or if you're curious the average gas prices of oh sorry the average prices of gas lpg or diesel in each province click through each province and you can see the average price of gas per city and the average change in price now i don't know how helpful this app is to you personally but as is our inclination we just wanted to share yet another app for those of you who, like us, love to penny pinch when it comes to things like putting horse juice in our metal death wagons. Like I said, this was going to be really quick, so that's it for us today. Hope you're all having a wonderful November. We'll be back soon to talk about new and interesting developments in our economy, but until then, take it easy.